Is it true that you got into acting because you were punished in school? No. No, I wasn't punished. Uh, and that, it, was, it just happened that I was doing something a 12-year-old has no business doing to a girl because okay. I liked her. You know how that is, you know? She was about to sit down, and I just happened to notice. So I just eased the chair back. <laughs> and she missed it. I didn't know where you were going with that story, by the way. I, it could have been eight different stories. And I'm like, man, am I about to get a scoop here that nobody else knows or something? Barbara got up. She was madder than a wet hen. <laughs> and after me. And I was running, and I ran into a teacher who just sort of collared me. And I thought, OK, I'm going to the principal's office here. Instead, she shoved me into a room and said, here he is. And they were casting for this little school, uh, remember, school play. It was a statewide contest thing. And I, 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 I won, I was <laughs> best actor, first one, 19... I hadn't heard that. Yeah. That's incredible. And because you were, you were in the military, you were in the Air Force for a while. Yeah, three years, eight months, and 10 days. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for your service. You're welcome. And, that had to get in the way of acting while you were in the military. No, 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 that cemented it. I went into the Air Force because I thought, I was pretty sure that I wanted to be a fighter pilot. Wow. I wanted to fly jet planes, straight people, bomb stuff, you know? And then when I got into a plane, finally, it was a big realization there that, nope, <laughs> camera, me the camera. Wow. And I wanted to be in the movies. You knew pretty much from that moment on that's what you wanted to do? Yeah, I just walked away from that. Just boom, that's it. That's not what I want. And I happened to be in um, North Island Naval Air Station on flight line. And I walked away from that whole idea because I knew without a doubt it, if you strafe somebody, you want them to get up, brush themselves off, and go back to number one. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, it's, I'm sure... Obviously, at, a, at your level of artistry, you're aware of all of this, the decisions you make as an actor. But I'm not so sure if you're aware of what it's like for people like me and other people who are around you watching you work. It's really fascinating because when you're hanging out on the set, you know, before a scene, you're there for 15, 20 minutes while they're finishing up lighting or whatever. You're just like a normal guy. You're singing with people. Holy cow, do you hear yourself? I do, <laughs> yeah. It's, but what I'm saying is, when, when they say action, you are completely centered and, and focused, and it's an amazing thing. <laughs> Just like you are now. <laughs> it's true. So, I don't know if you realize this, but we have one of the co-stars from Dolphin Tale here today. No. With, with us in the audience. No. Right back there, we have the dolphin from Dolphin Tale. <laughs> um, Guys, winner. That's winner. Hi, winner. So you worked as an extra in uh, in the pawnbroker in uh, first movie, very first one, very first one. And you had an interesting way of keeping that part. Well, it worked. <laughs> it 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 worked. Um. It was a crowd scene on 119th Street. Norman Jewison was, I think, was the director. And fight going on, and Rod Steiger walking down the middle of the street. So we're all walking along the sidewalk. I stopped to light a cigarette. And with every take, I stopped to light a cigarette. <laughs> Norman Jewison kept saying, there's too many people over there, there's too much background. I don't want all of that. So just keep, they kept thinning, thinning, and thinning until it was only me left. Lighting a cigarette. That's, that, you have to think outside the box like that. Yeah. Now, you've directed uh, things before, but you directed a recent episode of uh, Madam Secretary. Yes. We have a clip from Madam Secretary. I'd like you everybody to see Don't it. Don't tell me you, you got a clip. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's show it. You think this is funny? You have created a firestorm inside the party. Social media is blowing up. It's going to lead every news out. It was a personal question. And I'm not going to lie on national television. The president understands the difference between personal honesty and party politics. The president understands there's an election to win. And if you care at all about him, 
or advancing your own agenda, you'll keep your mouth shut about climate change till the end of time. It's a great group of actors. Oh, that's fantastic. Really. Morgan, I gotta tell you, I'm so thrilled that you came by today. Uh, you're a terrific guy, and I've loved working with you the times I have, and I think we're all honored that you came by today. Well, thank you, honey. Thank you. Season three of Madam Secretary premieres on Sunday, October 2nd at 9 o'clock p.m. on CBS. We'll be right back.